I still remember I got born again on a Thursday. Sunday nimeenda kanisani, nimefurahi. Next week on Tuesday niko kwa counter ya bar, ninateremsha mvinyo. Eh na niko relax mode. Kambia napenda Yesu na napenda pombe yangu na niko sawa. Where? was one of the things that I even ended up getting into mm-hmm. as a Christian because before Christ I never had that struggle yeah. but in the faith after g- disconnecting with every man mm-hmm. I find myself in a space I'm alone and that is the time Nashami finds herself sleeping into masturbation so I'm here I am alone there is mm-hmm. no man but my body feels like ah uh-uh, ah we need to be sorted so I'm like I lied to myself or rather I believe that lie of the enemy as long as you're not having it with a man it is it is not seen Wow. Bingo found myself there. The reset. Now, uh let's continue because you're talking about God's not done with you. And Nashami, mm-hmm. you know, at that point where actually you could have lost your life, God was not yet done with you. Mm-mm, he wasn't. He wasn't. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I have come to appreciate God in the sense that um Um you know I mean John 3:16 yeah includes everyone yeah for God so loved the world not a few so when Jesus was dying on the cross he knew there would be some wayward nashami and he thought that wayward nashami was worth dying for mm. so that day when I had subjected of course life I mean the the enemy was like this is opportunity let's take this one from planet earth and the father said no yeah she will not because of what I have for her because that same year that was 1st january mm-hmm. that same year on 31st of march i got a born i got born again when i wasn't planning to get born again mm-hmm. what happened akuna mtu alikuwa ameniubiria no one had been talking to me about christianity like let's say something that had like that I had been thinking about no it happened in an amazing way when i was a wayward girl this season yenye nimekuwa nimekuwa too wayward excess there's a friend of mine she's a, a childhood friend so we used to be uh, she was my partner in crime and then she got born again and i remember I was so mad at her how can she get saved why ndiache kufanya vituko na mimi why nilimsomea nikamwambia you can get born again but niendelee na wewe if you cannot manage the two achana na huyo yesu yeah. we can we cannot we are not those that get saved yeah. so this particular day she was always in and out of salvation though yeah. but this particular day she asks me to take her somewhere and i choose to i agree we go and as we are going wherever she was going she didn't find the person she was going to see so as we are turning to go back we bump into an old friend of mine now this old friend was my girl you know those girls who tukonga tulikuwa tuna riot na yeye yeah. man julia was my girl asha sha nikaambia eva you even you can go i found julia mimi niko in good company julia is like no you should come and know my place it's just around here even you eva come so we get into julia's house there are some two other two people in the house and we sit down but when i got into julia's house i was taken aback i was like There's something off about Julia's house mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Because Julia's house, Julia was a fan of hip hop, kuruka. I mean, you would hear music from Nauko. But the house was calm. Slow music. See the, what what we have in the background right now. Yes. Hey, kitu kama hiyo. Mm-hmm. I'm like that's not Julia. So I sit and I try to listen. I will never forget gosh the things we remember. I had in the background. God will make a way. I'm like mm. which one is this? Why is Julia listening to vitu za god Julia fai kusikiza vitu za god Julia is kwa meokoka no yeah Julia alikuwa meokoka and i looked at Julia remember Nashami is coming from a place of she's been involved in so much waywardness in search for peace joy healing all that i'm looking at Julia i, I am seeing all that in her because i knew Julia Julia was a trouble so like me yeah. that's why we were I mean birds of the same feather but i'm looking at a very calm girl i'm looking at a happy soul i'm i'm looking we are seated there apparently by the way there were five of us out of the five it's only me that was not born again apo yata eva lipata energy kusema even me i'm eva i am born again me i wasn't and i told them i'm not born again and please don't tell me to get born again wa kristo tunawajua mnajua kudandia opportunity ya yeah. kuwin soul not this one but i'm seated there they are talking conversing and my eyes are on julia i'm like if even julia yuko now mm. i'm having conversations within me if even julia yuko if truly it is getting born again that has made her like this 
uh, god nikikupea life yangu nitakuwa kama julia mm-hmm. nitapata hiyo peace mm-hmm. i didn't hear him answer no i don't but i think i felt in my heart he had answered me yeah. so i said i'll dare you mm-hmm. only if you will give me peace imagine that's all i wanted peace if you can give me that imagine let me try mm-hmm. but i literally said if it doesn't work then mm-hmm. i would have tried mm-hmm. so i just told the guys oh yeah before you finish this year small small fellowship can you pray for me i want to get saved that's how i got born again wow heaven is my witness my brother i said that prayer they prayed for me and i felt peace instant i felt it i was like a burden has been lifted mm-hmm. literally i said wow so this is what i've been missing and i remember i left that place my god i couldn't keep quiet anyone that i met remember this is mtanya nimekuwa na riot but anyone i could meet that cared to hear ni aje fiti vazi ni mokoka nimetoka tu kokoka sai akisikwa na nyamaza i was like the samaritan woman i couldn't keep quiet i couldn't i was just i was so happy I was so peaceful. I felt like so much had been lifted off me. Aki, I was feeling so nice. Jesus came in and literally brought that to me. And I just couldn't stop keeping talk, talking about it. I still remember 2005 if I'm not wrong. Yes, 2005 was the year but then I was in Mumias then I came to Nairobi. Mm-hmm. It was the year that TD Jakes came and had a crusade in Uhuru Park. I still remember. And I went for that crusade. Manzeni kwa nafika uhuru pa kutadhani mimi ndio nafungua gates za uhuru pa. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to hear more about God and I and I literally wanted to hear him tell me he loves me. Yeah. More than anything that's what I wanted. And for some reason it will come out in the music. Man, let me tell you. When people sing, when people lead worship, I always say, when you stand to lead worship, you are ministering to a soul. Usikwe tunaimba umalize pasia kuje ku preach. Man, a song would sing and I'm like, God, that is what I wanted to hear today. Thank you. Thank Kitambo preacher simame man mimi nimebarikiwa nimekuwa refreshed i was so happy my goodness i was happy that i have found peace went back to mumias julia this same girl i got born again in her house gets a hold of me and says now that you're back i want to introduce you to some fellowship you come and be part of us it's an interdenominational thing we meet on the weekdays but i want you to come and i'm glad she did that then she introduces me to a fellowship and an amazing mama she's called Celestine 2005 this is 2023 Celestine Aura is still my mentor wow. i can't let her go oh mm. never <laughs> this one until jesus comes yeah because this was a woman that god gave me yeah. brought my way she was intentional in mentoring this girl and helping this girl grow because i got born again and i am not among the few that just get born again and god just takes stuff out of their lives no that was not nashami i am born again i still remember i got born again on a thursday sunday nimeenda kanisani nimefurahi next week on tuesday niko kwa counter ya bar ninateremsha mvinyo and niko relax mode kambia napenda yesu na napenda pombe yangu na niko sawa we na naambia watu kila mtu ba na kunya ngome by the way last week ni okoka by the way last week mkoko nimekutana na Yesu nimekutana na Yesu wase na nateremsha i mean i didn't give up i was like kwa niko shida like uh, why would i stop why should i stop and she knew because i would tell her she gave me a space where i would be so open with her so i would tell her the things i'm struggling with i would tell her We are trying she's trying to teach me the elementary things of the faith like like fasting like prayer she's taking me through it tunachapa fasting na yetu na breakfast pamoja and nikaribisha kwake nikunywa chai na mbia zi mama mimi nasikia tu kutanga mshaka chupa tu kamoja yani natoka fasting na fungwa fasting na kafchupa and she would literally tell me I'll never forget she would hold my hand and yeah. pray with me God wow. as she goes to take another bottle mm. thank you that you are working in her in Jesus name amen and she let me go mimi na akili yangu ndogo nenda ba nafanya declaration wase mnajua hadi pastor amenibariki nikikuja kulewa tuchafue we i didn't know someone was bathing something on her knees for my sake i did not wake up one day israel and let's say a month or even two months or even three months it took me I think almost one and a half years in the faith but i was still an alcoholic 
but one day when I'm, I'm i started feeling like uh uh mm because again i was getting so much loving the christian side of life yeah and i'm like in a feel mm so i'm trying to stop like sit and uh, i won't go to the bar i won't go to the bar but man my all my friends were drunkards so they'll go out drink carry some bring in the house and i'll tell god si jai tafuta imenifuata na cheza nayo kama mimi but one day Mom Celestine told me, she told me, listen to me daughter, if you want out of this, yeah. you need to change your association. You need to be deliberate. It is not acrobatics. Be deliberate. Had decisions because some of them were childhood friends, people have grown up with, I mean. But I had to make that decision because I really wanted out. Yeah. And I started cutting off. The more I cut off Walevi, the more I connect more with fellowship and ministry and missions. Man, I used to tag along this mama everywhere she would go. Sijui mtu ni mgonjwa anaenda kuombea mtu tumeenda. Sijui mtu anaenda kufungwa nyumba tumeenda. Sijui I was all over like that is all I wanted. I wanted company that would help me. Mm. And God is my witness, the year 2006 at some point there was the last time I ever took alcohol and to date I don't know how I stopped. I just realized one day nimejichocha nimeenda ba. No. Asema one for the road kwa ni swat. I took a sip and my friend I puked and mm. puked and puked. Eh? My system just rejected that thing. Wow. It that is rejected. total deliverance. Total. Sema tena. Ivo that is how he just took me out of it. <sighs> But this woman mm-hmm. she was there mm-hmm. walking with me holding my hand and you know the more she would walk with me the more I would be real with her like for example when i once told her mm-hmm. that i i feel in my heart i have never forgiven baba zanel yeah because of what he did and he disappeared on me mm-hmm. and jehovah was so gracious that one day he allows me to meet that man and i was with her and i want to kick that man like he should die mm-hmm. and she tells she tells me you're right you are not over this we need to work on this mm-hmm. and she helped me meet up with this man we sat down and we talked and i spoke my heart out my pain out and everything and i found my healing from him this woman was in, my goodness i always say my story is never complete without mm-hmm. pastor celestia naura never because she was there when i'm struggling to let go of the many relationships i was still attached to It's her, I was my reference point. So mom, so mom now there's this guy. Me I'm trying to tell him me stuck his story and I sasa akikuja na shinda kukataa sijui nini nini. I should tell me, you know what baby girl? Can you cut off that link? Kata hizo masimu. Block some of these people. Sijui nini nini nini. Buda nilikuwa najaribu, nilikuwa najaribu. Najaribu ku keep off, wakirudi nasema sio mimi nimewaita. Sio mimi nimewaita. Huyu ana Nicole, huyu ana Nicole ask. Mmoja God akaamua kunifanyia ile kitu. Those days man sikuje nilikuwa ngana kwa simu kangu kama Motorola C113. Yeah. Yenye ilikuwa kama gold. Yeah. Man nikapotea. Nikakuwa mteja. Utatoa wapi ndio akubai simu? Anza sio simu niko XP. You can't buy another one. So nikakuwa mteja na maboys hawanipati so they can't call me. Kumbe God ananisaidia ku disconnect. Wow. <laughs> Apo to nasikia all things are working out together. My friend. For but God. but but when all was said and done. Yeah. So I'm in that space. God I message me channel alcoholism. My boys and every man that I was attached to now I can't get access to them. At least I'm like I'm in a good space now. I can enjoy this faith. I can walk this faith. Mm-hmm. And then here I am. I'm still struggling. I'm like because one of the things that I even ended up getting into mm-hmm. as a Christian because before Christ I never had that struggle. Yeah. But in the faith after ge- disconnecting with every man mm-hmm. I find myself in a space I'm alone and that is the time Nashami finds herself sleeping into masturbation. Because you in, back in the world you're so used to like you're used to like that yeah, moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm here I am alone there is mm. no man but my body feels like ah uh-uh, ah we need to be sorted so I'm like I lied to myself or rather I believe that lie of the enemy as long as you're not having it with a man it is it is not seen Wow Bingo found myself there and I was hooked into that I think for like almost five years Wow Ah yeah 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 Sebastrago By then I'm already I, I think I was in college I'm in ministry I am actually think I was a leader in the CU I'm doing stuff but I'm struggling silently You don't tell people how do you start telling them Yeah because this is something that either, maybe they will you feel like maybe they will judge you Yeah and then I'm a leader yeah. some are looking up to me How do I and even one would come and tell you they are struggling with the same thing wanakuja kufungukia kwako Inabidi behave when you struggle Now now prayer now keep pray your prayer una pray una fake una ifanyikwe general uji include 
Father, Lord, thank you because there is grace to break free. I pray that, Lord, the grace for freedom and from every struggle is released right now. Because you also need that prayer. But you can't say. Why? And I'm telling you, this is ministry. And I shall tell you guys that, you know what? We are not perfect. No, 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 no. Because you are doing ministries and I know God was still moving. Oh, he was. Deliverance was still happening. Oh, he was. His power salvation was still evident. Was evident. Songs were coming struggling. to the kingdom, but I was struggling. You're struggling with salvation. Mm-hmm. And it went on until one day I just got tired. You know, like God, because it was, it was, it is, it is bad. Yeah. Like mm. I don't know. Of all the things I've ever done, that is what I hated. Most. Yes, yes. And I was like, well, God, I need help. Mm. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. And what did the Lord do? <laughs> Mimi, in my own mind, I'm like, God, Ninenda Prayer Mountain. And I'm not going to leave this prayer mountain until you have delivered me. If you don't deliver me, God, this, this is going to be my residence. But I need freedom. Nikenda Prayer Mountain. Mifika Prayer Mountain, hivi you may check in, registration, blah, 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 mpeleka bag kwa room. Umetoka inje, umenevi kupiga around hivi. As I'm out there, he speaks. Go home. Your answer is not on this mountain. Your freedom is in finding someone you can open up to. Wow. Now that became the greatest hurdle. It took time. I prayed. I prayed. You think, you think, oh, by the Israel. And you're like, Mm-mm. Israel, let them judge. Mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, it took me a while, but God, yeah. because it was his instruction, yeah. he provided somebody. And it was even hard opening up, but I had to. Because I desperately needed help. And I opened up to someone who has never worked with anyone going through that. But he said, you know what? God will help. Because he has led you to me, yeah. he will help me. And I yeah. choose to be there. Mm-hmm. He walked with me. Mm-hmm. Not in a month and not in two months. Mm-hmm. Almost six, eight months. Mm-hmm. But one day, Israel, I woke up and looked back and said, hold up. When was the last time we struggled here? Mm-hmm. I couldn't even point on it. I'm like, say what? This is something that was happening almost on a daily basis. I'm counting weeks, months. Lord, you have set me free. Oh my goodness, thank you. Ah. Oh my God. What? <sighs> hey. God loves me. <laughs> wow, that is the God we serve. Mm. That was how deliverance happened for you. That is how it happened. Wow. God has ju- just healed you with that, uh, having that accountability partner. Mm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you said that it's very, very important for you to have someone that you can open up to. It is very key. It is important. You know, you know, Israel, mm-hmm. um, sin thrives in secrecy. Wow. And that is what the enemy would want. Mm-hmm. You don't talk about it. You don't, don't, don't even talk. Don't mention it. Don't, 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 don't. Just shh. And when we find a space to open, just speaking it out is a step out already. Wow. And that means he's losing his grip. He's losing his grip because you're talking out, for example, you're talking out maybe to someone who has been through that. Yes. And they are from a, you're a, you, you are at a point of a victim. Mm. They are at a point of a victor. Yes. And so you're talking to the right person or someone who will pray with you mm. or walk with you. And the enemy doesn't want that. Yeah. And that is something that I learned then. It is something that I have always ad- ad- advocated for. Mm. Please don't do life alone. Don't do life alone. People in your space, people that you can reach out to, if you find maybe someone talking and you pick something like, I think I need that person to help me here. Please get a hold of that person. Just don't do life alone. The enemy wants you alone. I mean, just like the army. Once an, a soldier is alone, I mean, he's prey to the enemy. Yeah. But when you're part of the pack, you know, you're part of the pack, you're safe. Yeah. And being part of the pack is just also finding someone that can walk with you. Mm-hmm. Someone that can pray with you. We, yes, you can pray. Yes, you will pray, but at some point it's just good to pray and then talk. Find someone to talk to. Open up. Yeah. Find help. Mm-hmm. There are people willing to help us out here. I know sometimes it's tricky. People feel like, no, the world out here, people are so judgmental. People are always spreading stories, Zawatu and all that, mm-hmm. and people shy away. I was in that space. That's why I prayerfully sought who will walk with me. So just prayerfully ask God, who can walk with me here? Imagine God at Akupeamtu. He will. He did for me. I've seen him do for others. I have been that person for someone else. Yeah. So, I mean, God will always lead you. 
and you'll find help but anyway mm-hmm. so god has helped me i am free i'm enjoying the faith i'm enjoying my journey it's beautiful beautiful i was loving my walk with god sana yeah. man i was on fire until one day i don't know how but i know that i met this friend of mine a childhood friend mm-hmm. i hadn't seen him for years we meet we talk we bond and talk and talk i was headed somewhere it's towards where he stays he insists i know his place we passed by and that's how i didn't go where i was going and that's how i ended up sleeping in that man's house and that is how i found myself sleeping into fornication <gasps> oga let me tell you if there is something i preach with my heart out mm. is helping people understand Romans 8:1 there's now no condemnation because i dealt with it head on the condemnation that satan amplified into my ears yeah it was bad so bad you are a ungrateful you can't be helped help cannot even come your way why would god love you such an ungrateful person hey 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 and i agreed you know one thing about the enemy he has evidence oh he has he, he doesn't me. guess things yeah how could you he has done one two three for you see what you have done four five six ten, and i agreed with everything he said mm. and in that season my brother twice i attempted suicide i was tired of i mean i was like god uko na watoto wengine tu wazuri please deal with those ones you see this one yeah acha nikutoke that's just nikuta okay i don't want your mercy i don't want your forgiveness i don't want your love i don't deserve it let me just quit well i attempted twice mm-hmm. i didn't die <laughs> at least i'm here so what was the first attempt what were you doing i took a concussion of drugs i just googled mm-hmm. and then bought them and took them and slept nikufe yeah buda liam kajoi kichomoza kwadrisha i was so mad at death <laughs> You should have taken me. I didn't die. Yeah. A second attempt I decided to do rat and rat. I said this one I know in a little. So I took my concussion. I wanted to take just before I took someone knocks the door. Just before. I was so mad at that lady. The day I told that lady that story and I told her actually I think 3 years ago she was shocked. I told her yeah, that day God used you. You had to knock that door at that time. I was going to take that thing and die. But I could not take it in her presence. Yeah. And unfortunately for me we are there cooking and everything she's washing the umbrellas and she just pours my concussion julikwa kwa jikoni kwa sink. Nikasema okay god ni nini but i just told god even if you're not you don't want me to die mr kistoriako i feel so ashamed. Yeah i've disappointed you. Yeah i don't deserve you. Mm-hmm. I don't deserve this. And i was just in that space but it didn't i think i even tried when i was that i was like hata kuna jani kwa good girl. I'm a wreck i can't i can't be helped. So for then in letukwa to mbaya. And even after that episode with that guy I think I even had another escapade with him and then then I were with another guy and another guy and then at some point I was like young lady stop we can't go that path again we can't stop I stopped looked myself in the mirror and told me na shami wangara for how many years were you off sex again why are you now behaving like it's eternal life yeah did you die no you didn't back off stop it imagine I stopped I just stopped I said ah uh-uh. even if I'm not gonna be God's own stuck in path yeah well somehow I came back to God somehow pole pole I came back but in this season of this 1 2 3 escapades mm-hmm. one of the guys I had an escapade with I think one year later mm-hmm. I hear he's unwell I even went to see him in hospital and then the brother who was my friend he tells me by the way you know your friend amekata kukubali just and so that he can get medication mm-hmm. this guy has has aids and he's refusing to take care of his nobody knew i had an affair with him hey 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 mm-hmm. you exposed yourself deal with the consequences you know that guy died i went for his burial he died the lady he was dating me i was just having a cat thing with him once and twice but yeah. the lady he was dating mm-hmm. I had rumors that she was unwell I had to look for her and they went and saw her can be aki you remember so and so o jama ki ndali npe you gonjo he 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 said that shall be wangara it's about time you got tested I said no no I refused mm-hmm. I struggled mm-hmm. not one year two years three years 
sitaki kukua tested but one day I just the holy spirit prompted me one day i said this one let me just do it yeah. i went to that center i told those ladies don't even test give me that, that counseling mm-hmm. just do the testing once up to find you to malize long story short i turned negative wow i said no i had to do a second one remember in this period you know mm-hmm. the way they would tell you if it's negative and they're like when were, when were you last sexually active and i'm like three years ago i'm like no mm-hmm. then that can't be wrong it's true you're negative i'm like i left that place crying crying mm-hmm. literally because i was like god i don't understand you wow i totally don't understand you mm-hmm. i don't know why you're showing mercy to a wayward child i don't know why you're loving a wreck like me mm-hmm. ungrateful me me that cannot be helped i don't understand you yeah. god and god spoke to me he told me nashami two things if you only knew how much i love you if you only knew and number two thing he told me you have zero idea the mission i have for you in this life for that mission mm-hmm. because of my purpose over your life i covered you oh lord oh my <laughs> for papa's sake for papa's sake and he was right israel he was right because after that episode i told myself i told god for the first time galatians 2:20 is going to make sense in my life mm-hmm. i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i that lives but christ that lives the life that i live i live unto him it's no longer nashamis because mine almost ended yeah but this one that i'm living now it is for you lord 100% totally for you no matter what i'll go through no matter what will happen mimi ni wako mm-hmm. forever and i'm looking back he was right for papa's sake wow what i do with my life now mm-hmm. he had to preserve me the many young people i work with right now mm. he had to preserve me the many teenagers that i always say if i was to hold a meeting and just call everyone every young girl that calls me mom mm. for their own reasons but the many that call me mom if i was to hold a meeting i think let me just do nyayo stadium i lost count god keeps adding them keeps adding them i'm working with young girls people that are dealing with pain people that are dealing with loss people that are in struggles people that don't have a direction people that young girls that feel they don't have mother's love or parents love in everything young girls that have been subjected to so much gosh my heart for this generation reminds me that god preserved me for them <laughs> my baby that i carried for six months in my womb and that is something that god reminded me some few years back and i was wowed i was like oh wow god i was preparing to preach somewhere about purpose and god reminds me that you know purpose is not something you discover in your 20s 30s 40s yeah you can fulfill purpose even as a baby like your baby did wow. she was with you for six months she bathed what you're doing now she fulfilled purpose at six months <sighs> so i go about my life fulfilled why because god has used everything and i mean everything that i have been through to make me do what i'm doing now so when i say this generation is my mandate i am deliberate yeah because i missed out on mentorship mm-hmm. no young person should miss out on mentorship while i can yeah i didn't know who to turn to mm-hmm. let every young person know they can turn to someone yeah let anyone that is struggling with anything not just what i have been through even more than that i've been through yeah because going through that and god helping me that through that helped me appreciate god's grace some more i think i understood grace better and i can extend grace because there were days when i was assistant holy spirit i used to judge but <laughs> life humbled me <laughs> seasons humbled me mm. i knew it is but by grace and like paul i say 
Paul, and that is one person. Israel, when I'm getting to heaven, that's mm-hmm. the uh, after bowing at the mercy seat. Mm-hmm. I want to meet Paul. Wow. Because I connect with Paul. Yeah. I say Paul is a story of grace, Nashami is a story of grace. So I want to meet that guy because I I can voice like him and say I am what I am. Mm. But by the grace of God. Wow. Purely. Wow. And that is the story of <sighs> Nashami Wangara from addiction to miscarriage to purpose. You know, all these things that are bathing your purpose. And sometimes when 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 we usually go through many things we don't understand why we go through all this mm-hmm. until now when god is revealing to you mm-hmm. then realize wow so this was the reason why i had to go through all this mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. me i'm telling you i'm mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seeing your, your story i'm like oh, my goodness god helped me from addiction of masturbation to drugs to alcohol and god preserved you he did he preserved you he did for such a time as for this for such a time as this and there's a day he reminded me that there's no one who is a mess beyond repair. Yeah. No one is a mess beyond repair. Mm. No one is exempted of yeah. the grace of God. Mm. And also he reminded me that our ex- experiences, mm-hmm. ugly, beautiful whatsoever experiences, if they are given to God, they could be just what would define our purpose. Yeah. And I'm living that. Mm. Mm. Wow. Talk about your purpose. Mm. Shortly we're going to pray together because I see quite a number of the uh, people who are Pray, uh, sending their prayer request mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and also some people who have been asking your contacts mm-hmm. but um, right now this is now what you do you yes. minister to young people I am 150% passionate about high school ministry Yeah, I'm always in a school here and there mm-hmm. working with young people boys and girls young men young girls and it's been fruitful so far yeah. I do this even with the community mm-hmm. uh, there's an organization I partner with in Kibra I'm always there just helping mentor girls mm-hmm. And then um, more than just going to schools, um, I am passionate about working with them post Mm -hmm. high school. Like right now, there's an amazing group. I, I, I have I have come up with girls from Parkland's area. Yeah. Parky Royalty, hey! Those girls are special to me. Mm-hmm. A number of 16 girls cleared mm-hmm. last year. We decided to come together. We've begun a fellowship, yeah. a mentorship program mm-hmm. so that we just continue this year after year. But I look back and there's a girl right now. She's 26 years old. Mm-hmm. And this girl, I knew her Kiwa High School. Wow. And she's one of the girls that we have stuck with. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm those that continue. I'm not those that we'll have with you. Mm-hmm. Ukimal is a uniform. We take the new form once we continue. No. Mm-hmm. Given chance, I continue with the journey. Yeah. And it's been amazing and fruitful. More than that, I'm also, I mean, I'm just because mentorship, I've come to realize it's all rounded. And even like I was saying earlier mm-hmm. about Dear Parent, for me, when I did the book Dear Parent, mm-hmm. which I just did, I, did, I launched it this year, January, that book made me feel a, a sense of this is like return on investment. Because that book, Dear Parent, is a collection of letters from young people to their parents yeah. about the unspoken. Mm-hmm. For you to get to young people, teenagers, yeah. and tell them to write letters that you will put in a book, and they willingly do, until you cannot put all the letters, that is just a sign that God has used you in their lives mm. for them to trust you with such. So I look at that book and I'm like, Lord, thank you this far. The first book, my own story, my story for his glory, mm-hmm. it is young people that had me but that book. I didn't want to write my book. I never wanted to share this story, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it reached a point, I talk a bit of it and you see the impact. Yeah. And you see people finding help. Mm. And the many young people that will come to me, I said, no, let's just write the book. Mm-hmm. So these young people that I have given my heart to, mm-hmm. God is using them to define me, to bad things. Why am I back in school? It is for this generation. Yeah. I'm not going to do counseling and psychology to get a job. No. Mm. I need to equip myself for what I'm doing. I want to be a professional more than the calling. I want the profession because God told me I need to build capacity for this generation. So I am just glad Mm -hmm. that God gave me this generation. Mm -hmm. And as long as I have breath before he comes or he calls me home, let me be found in this generation serving the purposes of God. Wow. That is so amazing. And how can people get your books? Uh, Dear Parent and also My Life for His Glory. My Story, my for, story his glory. for His Glory. Um, I think social media would be easier. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nashami Wangara, once you find me, that is on Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. And uh, X. It's now called X. X. Gosh. X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> let's do Facebook and Instagram. Mm. Nashami Wangara, just to reach out. Yeah. And then I will direct you on how you can get either of the books or all of the books. Mm-hmm. Yes. And even just if you just want to reach out mm-hmm. for help, guidance, someone to walk with you, talk with you, pray with you, I choose to be available. Yeah. I'm called. Wow. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Hold 96.9 FM. Pearl Radio.